We've learned lots about basic data in Swift in previous videos, so let's recap. First up, Swift lets us make constants using let and variables using var. Of the two, I recommend you prefer using let as much as possible, so Swift could help you avoid mistakes. Swift strings can be very short, including emoji, or up to whole novels of text and more. Plus they include helpful functionality, such as count for how many letters they have, or uppercase to uppercase the entire string. To make a new string, put double quotes at the start, then your text, and then double quotes at the end. If you want multi-line string, use three at the start and three at the end, both on their own line. To store whole numbers, you want integers, or in Swift's world, an int. Plus they have extra functionality such as is multiple of. If you want decimal numbers, you want double, short for double length floating point number. These things are really good at storing decimal numbers, but are not 100% accurate. Please don't use them for storing things like money, for example. Both int and double have a whole range of arithmetic operators, such as plus, minus, multiplication, and division, plus those compound assignments, plus equals, minus equals, and more. You can store a simple true or false using booleans or bool. Plus it has things like toggle and a not operator to flip between true and false automatically. And finally, string interpolation lets us make strings combined easily or pull in different kinds of data like integers and doubles and more. Now, this is quite a lot for your first steps in Swift. I know that it's okay. It's okay. Honestly, you're going to use these things so many times again and again as you learn until you'll know them like the back of your hand. You'll use these in every app you make and you'll have to refer back to this after just a few days. Trust me.